लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन एवरी पार्टिकल इन द यूनिवर्स इन द यूनिवर्स attract each other with a force attract each other with a force every particle in the universe attract each other with a force and that force is and that force is number 1 directly proportional to the product of the masses to the product of the masses and number 2 inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them to the square of the distance between so according to universal law of gravitation every particle in the universe attract each other every particle in the universe every particle in the universe attract each other with a force with a force and what is the peculiarity of that force that force is directly proportional to the product of the masses whatever two particles attract in the universe there is a force of attraction between that two particles and that force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the particle that two particles which interact each other and that force is also inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them not the uh, distance between them that is the square of the distance that is an important thing okay so here is the law according to universal law of gravitation there is a force of attraction between there is a force of attraction not interaction interaction means attraction and repulsion in the case of gravitation it is important that there will be no force of repulsion in the case of gravitation there is always force of attraction so gra it means that gravitational force is always an attractive force that is the main peculiarity of gravitational force okay the main peculiarity of the gravitational force is that the gravitational force is always an attractive force and if two particle in the universe attract each other that force of attraction between two particle is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so we want to check the mathematical expression for the universal law of gravitation here we consider two particle a and b the mass of a is m1 the mass of b is m2 and the distance between them is r there is a force of attraction between a and b and that force of attraction is f what is the peculiarity of that force of attraction that force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of the masses that is m1 into m2 here the masses interacting are m1 and m2 and the product of the masses are m1 and m2 that is f is proportional to m1 into m2 and that force of attraction is same that force of attraction is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to 
the square of the distance. What is the distance here? The distance here is r. Therefore, the square is r square. Why? Why? Uh, there will be r square because in the statement it is clear that that force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance not the distance it is the square of the distance so f is inversely proportional to the distance square so f is proportional to 1 by r square or otherwise we can say that f is inversely proportional to r square so combining these two conditions this is not an equation this all are condition if we combining these two equations, we got F is proportional to M1, M2 by R square. How to remove the proportionality sign or how to replace an equal sign with, how to replace the proportionality sign with an equal sign? So, F is equal to, to remove the proportionality sign, we must multiply a constant. This is a constant into m1 m2 by r square what is that constant called f is equal to g is that constant proportionality constant g m1 m2 by r square where g is called a universal universal gravitational constant where g is called a universal gravitational constant g is called a universal gravitational constant and this is the equation for mathematical expression for universal law of gravitation f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square and from the equation there will be a term called g and g is called a universal gravitational constant here it is clear that there is a proportionality constant g inside the equation and we want to find out the value of g the value of g is the value of g is g is equal to this is the value 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square what is its value g is equal to 6.67 into 